Breezy Saturday Philippine Playstation Marathon. Yeah. Thank you, Rob. Thank you very much. And that's right, folks. We're in our first episode of the Family Feed Marathon for the month of June 2020. And I know Lee, Rob, and Mich Michelle are all ready to go. Uh, I'm ready. Well, you... I'm all set to deliver all the goodness. Yes, definitely. If y'all can remember the last three episodes, we had three we had three $10,000 wins. But are we going to have a perfect marathon to start off June? We'll find out. I hope so. Me and too. Abbott, if you're listening to me... I am anxiously awaiting what your stupid answer is going to be. You and me both. I can't wait to hear bad and stupid answers either. <laughs> I could be more excited than me trying to find out the outcome of Shop Mr. Burns. And although I just got finished eating dinner, I also have a snack with me, too. Oh, what do you have? My favorite snack of all time, popcorn. And a diet Dr. Pepper. Oh, man, I wish I had more of those. Mm hmm But I know that... that me in the mood for oh, yeah, diet Dr. Pepper. And Batten, I know you've done your homework this week thinking of some stupid answers to come up with. Oh, yeah. I still can't get over two Saturdays ago when you said that thing you do with your mouth. And Ben, I kid you not, you made me piss myself. <laughs> so, uh, so pissed yourself so much that you had to send your underwear to the uh, to the laundry room. Uh, been taken. That's exactly right, Lee. But anyways, I'll go ahead and ask each one of y'all, how are y'all doing today? Me too. I'm doing good too. One second, please. I have to that It feels great. We've got a crazy Saturday. Come to the Tomorrow. All right, lady and gentlemen, let's play. All right, let's break up the Betamax. Let's do that. Oh, by the way, um, Batten, Rob wanted to ask you something. Go ahead, uh, Rob. Ask Batten if he has, if she has, you know what. Does she have a certain, the certain, you know, V word? I know. Do you have Viagra? Uh, oh, Lord have mercy, Batten. No. Yep, Chap's here. How you doing, Chap? Yes. <laughs> and we just picked up Bingle, 412 Hamrock, and MC Chap. <laughs>
Marty's dad is known as Old Dirty Bingle. I thought he was saying no baby. Close. Be. 
Yeah, I thought that his daughter was a train wreck. Oh, his daughter is a train wreck, Lee. <laughs> Oh, are you going to post that story in the chat, uh, Marty? Uh, yes. So I can share it with, uh, so I can share it with my girlfriend later. Uh, Affirmative. Sartori and one from Mark Leona. They both want to send me something for my birthday, and I said, "What?" They said they want to send me something for my birthday, and I said, "Okay." I mean, I told them they don't have to, but if they want to, they can. Excuse you? <laughs> Matthew Robert Bingle. <laughs> what do you say? Okay, well, I'll give you that. <laughs> of course I do. He said something about when it comes to presents, he's like, what, use condoms? And I'm like, what? 
And that's why I said Matthew Robert Bingle. I forget, Marty, your dad is old Dirty Bingle, so if he can be dirty, you can too. Of course. Well, the family theme marathon is already rated R. Uh huh. But we're all over the age of uh, 17, so it doesn't matter. I will, while you're looking for that story, Marty, I will say when it comes to birthdays, I never ask for anything. The only thing I ask is just to have a good day. That's very nice of you, man. Right, but I have some friends who tell me they want to send me something. I say, if you want to, you can, but you don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to. Uh, the only thing I want for my birthday is just to have a good day. Okay. And of course, money. Like <laughs> yeah. And don't forget, Saturday, June 20th, we're going to do a Facebook birthday party, and you're all invited to attend. Just send us a two liter of Diet Dr. Pepper, and it'll be all groovy. You got it, Lee. You can bring the Diet Dr. Pepper if you want. Sure. Marty, I haven't been fishing in 17 years. Is it because you, is, it, is it primarily because you you realize that you can't fish without the wonder boater? Well, no, actually, Leah, the reason why I haven't been fishing that long is because back in the day, I used to live out on a lake. Oh, yeah, because the reason why I didn't say that is because the term wonder boater contains the word boater. Right, right. But the main reason I haven't been fishing that long is because we moved away from the lake in 2004. And everybody, get ready! It's fast money time! I don't know if Texas has. They do, Lee. I, li I used to live at one. It is time, Rob, so get ready. Batten, you get ready too. And also, everybody, get ready to hear Batten's first stupid answer of the night! No. Oh, oh yes. You do that, Lee. You do whatever you want. And I give him a round of applause for that. That's right, Lee. It is Pride Month. All right, Batten, are you ready? Yeah, it's also anime month on my end. Mm-hmm. Here we go. It's fast money time. Uh, Batten, which city in the world would you be most afraid to live in? Oh, God, New York City. That's a great answer. We'll go with that. Is it, is it in terms of crime rate? Something like that, yeah. Name a, part of the, sense. name a part of the body you have two of. Arms. That's right. Name an appliance that makes a big racket. How about the washer? Which one? The dishwasher. There you go. Because there's two different kinds of washers. That's why I asked you to be more specific. Name something that flies. An airplane. That's right. And let's see that question. Oh! <laughs> oh, God is right. That's right, Lee. It's going to be good. Batten, are you ready for the stupid answer question? Yes. Get ready, everybody. 
Batten, name a place which most people remember going to for the first time. A brothel. Oh, what? <laughs> B-R-O-T-H-E-L? Yeah. Oh! A what? A brothel. What's a brothel? that up after the game. <laughs> New York City got 46, by the way. Yes, please. New York City got 46. Arms got 33. Dishwasher got 32. You're over 100. I can tell you already we're succeeding. That's right, Lee. Airplane got 46. A place people remember going to for the first time. You said a brothel. And that got absolutely nothing. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look. Let me let me yeah, oh no is right. <laughs> well I'm gonna take a look. I'm gonna take a look at a house where men commit to prostitutes. Oh god! I'm not touching that with a ten foot pole. Instead, I'm gonna turn my attention over to I'm gonna turn my attention over to Robbie. Yes. Batten got you 157 points. Wow. All you need is 43. You can do it. Are you ready? I shall do my best. Let's begin. Which city in the world would you be most afraid to live in? I would have said New York City, but that's already been said. That's already been said. Try again. I'll, I'll give you a hint. Uh, it's it's one of the reasons for a CSI show to happen. Uh, Los Angeles? There you go! Los Angeles! Well, that was at CIS, which is a totally different show, but okay. Uh huh. Anyway. Alright, now Rob, name a part of the body you have two of. Legs. That's right. Question three Name an appliance that makes a big racket. Uh, what's been said? Uh, dishwasher. Uh, how about dryer? The dryer? Okay. Name something that flies. Oh, wow. A bird. Bird. Uh-huh. And a place you remember going to for the first time. Um, the movie theater. Okay, yeah. Movie theater. There we go. All you need is 43 points, Robbie. Did you do it? I think you did. Let's find out. New York City was number one. You said L.A., and that got only four. I thought it would be higher. Hmm. I would have said L.A., too. You said legs. Survey said ten. Not bad. Not bad. The dryer makes a big racket. Our survey said on that one, four only. Hmm. Vacuum cleaner, maybe? Blender? Did 25 people say a bird for $10,000? We, one point short. One point short. Did one person say the movies for $10,000? Come on, we need one point. We got it. Woo! I didn't think we do it. Well, we did it, Robbie. You and Batten got us ten thousand dollars, as did Lee and everyone else. That's a good line. And like I said, when it comes to fast money, you guys are allowed to help out. That's amazing. Totally fine by me. But in the meantime, we have to stop here for game number one. But don't go away, folks. We're gonna come back for game number two in just a minute. We hope you will too.